It's easy to forget how blessed you are when you surround yourself with toxic people. It's easy to forget how capable you are, how kind you are, how good life is. It's easy to forget all of your qualities when you surround yourself with the wrong people. It's easy to forget that you have a mind of your own, that you have choices, that your voice matters. Show me your crew and I'll show you your future. I'll show you your future because your future is a reflection of what you allow in your life now. Toxic people aren't necessarily evil people. They aren't necessarily bad people. They are usually not toxic to everyone. Sometimes they are just people that aren't good for you. Sometimes you're both just toxic for each other because you're not in alignment with each other. How can you expect to associate with toxicity and not become toxic yourself? If you hang around people who are sick all the time, common sense will tell you it's only a matter of time before you get sick. That's what happens when you hang around the wrong people. They infect you with their negativity and they make you sick. They make you sick with negativity. They make you sick and tired. They make you sick of everything, including yourself and the life you're living. If you want to advance your life and your friends don't, you have a choice to make. You can either choose to live a life according to your standards or live a life according to the standards of your friends. If the people you are hanging around by choice are not making you better, they are making you worse. Make no mistake about that. The people around you should be making you feel better about life, no matter what is going on. Take a moment to think about all the people you spend the most time with. How are they making you feel? This is your life. You set your standards. Here's some common sense math for you. Add some winners to your life. Subtract the drainers. And that will add up to a better life. They say you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So who are you spending the most time with? And do you want to be the average of those people? The average of their kindness? The average of their integrity? The average of their desire to improve? The average of who they are as complete human beings? Or can you do better? Do you know you are capable of better? Better emotions? Higher expectations? Better results? If so, it is time to make a change. It is so much more than just the people you hang around. It's the books you read, the TV you watch or don't watch. It's the people you listen to, the things you choose to believe. Whatever you consume will consume you. Whatever you allow in your life becomes your life. You have to be ruthless with everything and everyone you allow in your life. If you're hanging with people who have no standards, you have no standards. If you want to raise the level of your life, raise your standards and increase the quality of the people you spend your time with. It is your choice. This is your life. You set the standards. It's okay to live a life they don't understand. It is okay to live a life your family doesn't understand. Your childhood friends don't understand. This is your life. It's not for them to understand. It's for you to thrive, to live to your fullest. If you choose to hang around people with no morals, sooner or later, you'll have no morals. If you choose to hang around people with no respect, what does that say about you? If you choose to hang around people who are not nice to other people, what does that say about you? If you choose to hang around people who act in a way that is against your values, then you too are going against your values. If you choose to hang around with drifters, it's only a matter of time until you too will be drifting. If you are choosing to hang around people with no ambition 
and no desire to improve themselves. Do you think you have any chance of improving yourself? You must choose better. You have to surround yourself with people who make you better. People who hold you to higher standards. People who actually have standards. People who are good people. I'm not saying this is going to be easy. It's one of the hardest decisions we have to make as human beings. Choosing who to spend more time with, little time with, and no time with. But what would you prefer? A life spent people pleasing, falling in line, never standing up for what you know is right for you, and therefore knowing, knowing that you will never live your fullest life, or standing up for yourself, standing up for your values and morals, and walking in whatever direction you know is right, regardless of whether anyone else is on that path or not. I want to go to my grave knowing I always did what was right, not what was easy, not what was most pleasing to the majority, not what fit in with everyone else's comfort. What is right? And that cannot happen if you are hanging around with low-value people. You cannot spend time with toxic people and expect to live a great life. You cannot spend the majority of your life with toxic people and expect to be happy. Wake up. Choose people who hold you to a higher standard. Real people. Honest people. Genuine people. Good people. Choose your crew. Don't settle like most people. Choose. And choose wisely. It is your choice.